Hi, this is Dawn from Daydreaming Book Reviews, and we've been asked by the Down Under Divas to tell you why we blog and to give you a little bit of information for us. I've flown all the way from California to Colorado to be with Kat the Book Tart. <laughs> Today we're going to ask her a few little questions and uh, climb into bed and have a little fun. Hi, thank Kat. you, thank you so much, Dawn, for coming. May I offer you some yummy snacks? I have some Sour Patch Kids, of course, which are my favorite, and. I love cake so I will take one of these. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love climbing in bed with people. Mm. Um, today we want to know a little bit about you. So can you tell us how long you've been blogging? Okay. Well, the book tart, the blog has been a dream of mine since for a few years because I love books and I love to talk about books and connect with other readers and writers and just share that love and that passion. So I launched it officially in February of 2012 with just a few posts a month. And I really kicked it off last summer and it's just become um, more fun. I mean, I love doing it and I love learning about new books and uh, meeting meeting other readers. What made you start blogging? Was it you wanted to just keep track of your books or what made you get into it? <laughs> yes, that was part of it. I have a massive collection, as you know. Um, she just yes. helped me uh, fix some of my chaos. It was a three hour organizational thing. <laughs> and that was only this little part of how many books this woman has. Um, I'm a print junkie. I love my print books. Yes, I have a digital reader, but um, I love the print. And uh, She really loves the print. <laughs> and so I wanted to um, try to keep track of my books better and be accountable. It hasn't really helped. <gasps> We found doubles and triples. I'm going to have a contest. We will be doing lots of contests coming up, so keep an eye out on the book tart. Oh, so, uh, and I also, I love to dress up in my pinup retro dresses and just chat about books. I prefer to talk to you about my favorite books, so I record it and share that and get all fancy. Sadly, today we have no pinup outfits, but we are in bed, and so, of course, we are in PJs. It's... 10, 11 o'clock here tonight for us, and it's bedtime. Well, at least for us right now. <laughs> Can you tell me some highlights that you've had from being a blogger? Okay. Um, I think I love interviewing authors. That's one of my favorite things to do. I like to invite them onto my virtual couch, and I do actually have a red couch. My virtual couch should offer them <laughs> virtual snacks. If you come crawl into bed with me, I'll give you real snacks. <laughs> I do like her sweets. <laughs> and she blushes so cute, doesn't she? <laughs> so, so getting to ask authors some really silly questions um, has been a highlight, as well as connecting with readers and making friends, real friends, via Twitter and Facebook, and friends I've connected with who visit my blog, and I love that. You don't only do interviews, you also do Google Chats. Oh, yes, that has been a new thing. Okay, so... Because I'm such a talker and I love to very much <laughs> I like to um, if I can't be with a person in you know person <clears throat> in bed in bed <laughs> I want to see them face to face and so I've done five or six Google chats so far and um, I share those and I'll be doing many more because it's so fun you also do YouTube um, posts I do I have a YouTube channel the book tart and I uh, do book hauls where I show you all my new books. Lots of <laughs> I do random readings where I grab a book and I'll read a bit from it. And I also do um, book reviews. And You also do some features and you have a new feature coming up possibly? Oh, I do a Monday post. It's going to be Meandering Mondays. And I will be featuring... I'll start out grabbing books from my collection, my personal collection, my massive library of 4,000 plus print books, and give you a little meandering bit from it, and hopefully you'll be intrigued and go check it out yourself. And you have some other posts that you do weekly postings for? I do. I also have my Tuesday new release post, because my um, website has a new fiction release database where you can see <laughs> um, all the books that come out every day, which is amazing. So. If you want to know what's coming out in two weeks, and you, on Thursday, a non, normally not a normal release date, you can go on her site, on the New Fiction Database, and click on that date, 
and then categorize by genre and find out. I want to find out the fantasy books two weeks from this date. And you can find them. And make it's a wish awesome. list. And I have a wish list contest every month. Make your own wish list. Add to it. And you'll be entered in my drawing to win a gift card to help make your wish come true. And then you have another one other than your Mondays, your Tuesdays. I have my Frantic Fridays where I share what I've been freaking out about. <laughs> and then... This week it was the mess. Watch <laughs> for the mess. Yeah, my, my book mess. And then on Sundays, of course, I do my This Week at the Book Tart to give you a heads up of what I have scheduled. Lots of contests, lots of fun things. This is a place you don't want to miss. If you have any questions for Kat, um, please leave them. Visit her. Drop her a line. She's an avid Twitterer. You can find her every now and then on Facebook as well, but definitely any time of the day or night on Twitter. Yes, so definitely come say hi at thebooktart.com or like she said, Twitter or Facebook. Mwah. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs>